Yeah. They grab a sandwich if we got a sandwich there, and yeah. they kill. They give you all separate. They, they uh, and we'll help you out as much as we can. Yeah, well, I already use a sandwich in the conversation. And yeah. Somebody can talk to them. Yeah. Much appreciated. Yeah, no problem. Okay. When we first started this program, I took in about 1,700, uh, 1,700 to 2,000 needles off, uh, off the street in our first year. Now we're taking, uh, now with the needle exchange program, we're taking in over uh, anywhere to 500 to 600,000 needles a year. It gets bad, yeah. Well, I'm Roy Campbell, I'm with the AIDS Committee of Windsor, and uh, I am uh, part of the Harm Reduction uh, Network Program. And what I do is I'm the outreach uh, harm reduction manager that goes out on the streets and does uh, sweeps with the downtown core, and also uh, goes around to uh, any place that uh, people call from, from drug houses to supply with uh, supplying with clean supplies and uh, talking to them about treatment and over both overdose prevention uh, equipment. A lot of the drug users will go to these areas where they have to shoot up and that because they have uh, different people there and they uh, they know it's a safe to them it's a safe place. It's uh, where they're not going to get hassled. They're not going to get uh, a hard time pe from people. They can uh, sit back and enjoy. They figure they're enjoying their high there, and it's uh, basically you know their house. They figure that. Uh, that's their home now, because a lot of them don't have, uh, are homeless. So that's their home. What fears me the most right now with the uh, needles, when I find the needles around where there's kids, where kids are playing in the alleyways and stuff like that, is them catch, getting stuck with the needle and ended up uh, having to go through the treatment and that. I talked to a mother one time in, in a needle sweep that their child, like, their child had been pricked with a needle and it was like a year or two after and like the anger that was still in that mother from that, her child getting pricked that one day. And that's what we don't want to happen. What we're trying to do here in Windsor is uh, uh, our executive director is trying to get a needle uh, safe injection uh, site uh, for overdose. The overdose prevention site uh, set up to uh, so people have a safe place to inject and uh, like we're getting like uh, mostly all the needle exchanges across Ontario and Canada are trying to get these like Vancouver has started out with the main the main site and we need to stop because we uh, need to help them stop. And the only way we can do it is being there for them. And like, if we got a safe injection site for them, we're not gonna prevent them from using, but at least we can uh, talk to them, talk to the ones that wanna get clean. Out of, if out of 10 people come in, to our, come in to see us and two get clean, that's made it, that's made it uh, successful.